Hi guys, Redhead Boo here, and this video is going to be a story time of seeing Uni and Jay at the Safari Nights at Yorkshire Wildlife Park in Doncaster. I hope you enjoy. So, I got two VIP tickets to the show, and that involved free food and drink our own private seating area and own private toilets and it actually included entry into the wildlife park itself so we, me and my mum went and we travelled to Doncaster and I was playing Uni and Jay in the car and stuff and we got to Doncaster and got to the wildlife park and we went round to look at the animals which I love doing because I love the place and when we showed tickets at the entrance I got given this wristband which is like general we got given the wrong one apparently and then we went to get some food which was important because <laughs> I was starving so we got food and then we went around to look at other animals in the park and it got to around half six and we went down to the concert area about 20 to 7 because we didn't we weren't that bothered about like support because yeah but we got in at 20 to 7 and we got down to the vip area and basically there was a bit of a mix-up because the girl at the reception area had apparently given us normal wristbands which is the standard so I had to get up the email on my phone to show that we were VIP and then I showed it and we got given the VIP wristband yeah and at around seven o'clock half seven maybe the support act came on who were called Girls Alouder and they were a tribute to Girls Alouder if you haven't worked that out. Um, they were alright, like they were good to, to warm up the crowd and I just, well my mum actually pointed out something because I was looking at the stage and we just saw this white Audi come by and I knew that JJ had bought a white Audi so I was thinking, that nah, can't be them, they wouldn't be arriving at this time. And it came round and I was thinking, is it them? No, it can't be. So I just stood, like say, stayed in my seat and waited and waited. And then my mum decided she needed a toilet, so I thought I'll go to the toilet as well because I don't know how long I'll have to wait for Uni and Jay. So we both went to the toilet and we both came out. And as we came out, I noticed there was a few girls, like, by this gate area. And I was like, what's going on down there? And so I said to my mum, what's going on? What's going on? Why is there loads of girls there? And then, as I was turning around to walk back to my seat, because I just thought, oh, it'll probably be... I don't even know. And I was turning around to go back to the seat, and I just happened to look over again... And I saw Ollie, which was Jamie's boyfriend, and I was thinking, what? So I, being a fangirl I am, I ran towards the gate and tried to see what was going on. So I walked over and I saw that it was Ollie, and then a few miles behind him I saw Jamie. So I was like, what? <laughs> I just waited and had a conversation with Ollie, which is really nice because I've never actually met Ollie before. But I didn't get a selfie because I didn't really want one, but I do wish I got one now. And then I saw Jamie, but I didn't actually get to chat to him because he was a bit busy, which is annoying because I like Jamie. And then I looked over and I saw that JJ was getting out of his car and obviously JJ is my absolute favourite guy and prior to this I'd been chatting to him on very app and we got talking a lot and he knew I was going so I stood by the gate thinking he could come over and meet us all and so I just stood there waiting getting excited and yeah 
So he got out his car and he looked over and saw all of us girls at the barrier gate thing. So I went round and stood there and waited and waited for seeing what, what seemed like forever. But I was thinking, in a few moments, if he's not coming over, I'm going to have to go to the barrier and wait for them there because I wanted front row. So it got to about the time where I was just about to leave and I saw that JJ was actually getting out of his car and he was walking towards us and I just saw him look at me and he smiled, looked directly at me, waved and said hello. Obviously you could see there was a queue so he, instead of coming directly to me, which I thought would happen, he went to the end of the queue and just worked his way along getting selfies with people and having a little chat and he got to me and we just started talking and he was asking how the journey was because I was saying how it was quite a long journey to get here and everything and he was seeing the journey we were just chatting and then he took loads of selfies with me which was lovely and <laughs> He actually took about 14 on my phone and I had to delete some of them because they were, some were a bit blurry but I'll see if I can find one. Come on. <laughs> right, so my favourite one is definitely, where is it? Ah, this one. See if I can put it up. It's a bit bright. Ah, there we go. And yeah, he took about nine photos of me. And as he was going off, whenever we call, it always seems to be that I'm going to Weatherspoons or I've been to Weatherspoons. And it's always like an inside joke. So I remembered that before we went to Doncaster, we went to Weatherspoons for a drink and a bite to eat. So I told him, I was like, oh yeah, I went to Weatherspoons. And it was just really funny because it's always like inside joke and yeah. And then Jamie came out and he was trying to get JJ's attention because they had to go in because it was nearly time for them to perform. But JJ said that Josh was coming in a few minutes anyway and he was going to perform because he had food poisoning a few days ago and he wasn't in the best of health so Josh turned up in his car and he waved at us all and he just went off and Jamie came back out and was trying to get JJ's attention for them to go in to get ready and he was shouting him and everything and he was not listening because he was at the other end of the queue and Jamie was about there so I thought you know what I'll shout Jamie, JJ for you Jamie so I started shouting for JJ, but obviously he thought, oh yeah, you're a fan. So he just thought, oh, you're just going to shout my name. And I was going, Jamie, JJ, JJ, pointing at him and trying to get his attention, but nothing. And Jamie started laughing at me because I was trying to help and we were just like making eye contact with each other and it just, it didn't work. But eventually Jamie actually walked over to him and got him and took him inside and then it got to the point where I was thinking I might just stay around here for a bit because they might come back out and get photos but they didn't so I went back to my seat got my drink and my phone and I went down to the barrier and in the queue when I was meeting JJ I actually got speaking to a girl called Georgia and she was really nice I just thought I'd give you a shout out Georgia because you are amazing I love you so much and yeah she came up to me because she saw me at barrier and said I'm standing in the middle of barrier if you want to join me or just stay here so I thought I'll stay here because I've got a quite a good view and she said oh do you want my snapchat so we got each other snapchats and we've been speaking ever since it's really really nice because I love making friends with new people like, I'm very sociable so I quite like interacting with new people and getting to know new fans because you never know I've met so many new people gone to concerts with new people I've met 
so yeah and at about quarter past day Yumi and Jay came on stage and their set was amazing as usual and they was they all sounded and even Josh who had suffered from chronic food poisoning was doing his best to try and sing and it was just it was great and I got to hear some of the songs I've not heard yet, so like Run from X Factor, which is amazing. Their cover of Mama by Jonas Blue, yeah. <laughs> um, and all songs like that, and it was just such a nice night. And the weather was amazing, because I was worried that it, at an outdoor concert if it rained, but it was really nice, and yeah, it was just such a nice day, and I loved it. And the concert finished around nine-ish and I just thought run to Barrier because they might come out again and meet us again. But I had to leave at half nine which was annoying because apparently at half nine on the spot Jamie came out and got photos of everyone which didn't with me because I'd gone. Which was upsetting and obviously Josh wasn't feeling too well so he didn't want to take photos. And I don't know about JJ, but it was a really good concert. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I hope they come back and do it again because it was amazing. And I had the best night ever. VIP was brilliant. The staff were brilliant. The whole day was just planned out so well. And yeah, it just, because I have, before that I hadn't seen Yumi and Jay since 2015. And obviously that was when George was in the group and yeah it was weird not seeing George but it was still such a good concert and the atmosphere and everyone was on, everyone was just loving it and yeah the fireworks at the end were phenomenal and it was just such a good day and I'd definitely go back and do it all over again. So Hopefully you mean Jay announce a tour soon so I can go see them again because I love them so much and yeah So anyway you guys this was my story time of Doncaster Safari Nights you mean Jay I hope you enjoyed hearing about my experience and if you did please comment down below and because I do want to do more story times because I'm seeing little Nick soon which is exciting and I sort of want to either vlog or do like a story time review thing after or maybe both I don't know I don't know how I would do it but yeah I just want to do more videos and I want to start doing more videos because I do think I've been avoiding doing them but yeah thanks for watching and if you do want me to see do more videos I'm gonna aim to do at least a video or two videos a week or every few days because I do feel like I'm not doing them as much and I do love doing YouTube videos because it does help me with confidence and just seeing all people going oh I love your videos and giving me tips which is amazing and even people like just people who've got channels themselves who can help me out, which is brilliant. I'm recommending like tools, apps to use and stuff. But yeah, anyway guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the little bell for notifications so you can see when a new video comes up by myself. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very, very, very soon. Bye.